Hey, what's going on guys? It's Arctic. Today we're going to be taking an in-depth look into my roster. I've recently just hit 30 days played and you can also see that I've hit level 50 on my account just as of yesterday. So we're going to be taking an in-depth look at our roster. I'll try to keep things short. Um, don't want to take up too much of your time and go too in-depth into things, but I'll kind of briefly uh, glance over uh, some of the other characters I haven't touched in my thoughts on those. So hopping into our roster, let's take a look at our light side first, and then we'll hop into our shadow side afterwards, wherever light is, there's light. So obviously we got our five elves, uh, five elves favorited, working on those for the upcoming uh, legendary event for Elrond. My personal intentions for my roster is once Elodin and Elrond come to the game, my light side team, those are going to be uh, the Rivendell team. Those five are going to be my five strongest characters. I'm going to develop those um, as much as I can, probably all the way up to max gear tier, honestly. And that's probably going to be my powerhouse team for my light side once that does come to the game. We're looking pretty good for the event. We're about halfway there for Lomian and Leliel. The rest of them are ready to go at five stars. Um, Eladin is said to, I believe, have a similar event to Arwen, so he's gonna be available three stars free to play, which was my initial expectation, and then he's gonna have those offers for you to get him to five stars. So I suppose you definitely, it's possible you don't have to farm Lilili uh, if you don't want to. You could pay and get uh, Elodin uh, at five stars um, to use him instead. That's not confirmed though, so uh, we don't know for sure yet, but that's definitely, uh, up in the air as a possibility um, for an option to do um, instead. So our strongest uh, light side character right now is Elver here. As you said, I am powering him up and the elves up, uh, Arwen and Elver here. Haven't really done Lomian too much um, as of yet. I've kind of actually, I'm using Lomian as my daily objectives. I level him up like one level a day and I equip like one piece of gear a day just to keep that going for the daily objectives. Um, but Lomian, or sorry, Elver here and Arwen are two of my strongest characters, sitting at just over 3,000 power. They're both geared tier 6 with all their abilities at uh, tier 4. Um, so I, they definitely I, are, are missing the rest of their uh, their Rivendell team. So once that's added to the game, these guys are going to be so good. I, I hope so, at least, because um, of what I'm investing in them. But yeah, our Elver here is actually our first 6-star character, and he's on his way to 7. He's about a third of the way there. Um, just farming him now while... Guild uh, Chapter 5 isn't available yet, um, since I'm not uh, sacrificing too much to continue farming him uh, the rest of the way to 7 while I'm farming Guild Chapter 3. So, uh, continuing down our roster, before Elves were in the game, who was I using? Or, well, they were in the game, but before they were kind of um, determined to be needed. Uh, who was I using? I was using the uh, Legendary. Is They're not Legendary, but <laughs> the Amazing... Uh, Rohan 3, so Aomer, Eowyn, and Aothain, these three of the Rohan team. There's also Eldoret and Wolfwyn, um, but these three, Aomer, Eothain, and Eowyn are absolutely amazing. If you guys haven't uh, checked those guys out yet, or if you guys aren't using those guys, check them out. They're very strong, and uh, they're really good in Arena, and they've helped me a lot in my light campaigns. So uh, I love using those guys a lot. It's going to be sad to kind of see them go off off my uh, priority list once I start working on that Rivendell team. But they're a really good team. Um, those were uh, who I was using to kind of carry me through the light missions. Um, alongside them, I was using Strider and Helberad. Helberad's a really good character. If you guys haven't uh, unlocked him yet, consider unlocking him um, if you want to use him. He's quite good. A lot of people say he's one of the best characters in the game. And I agree with that. He's, he's, uh, he's very strong. And uh, I like him a lot. Uh, before we had Helberat, I was using Wolfwind, uh, testing her out. She's a decent part of the Rohan team, uh, does some decent damage, but Helberat just kind of trumps her and is a much better option. You'll notice my hobbits here, uh, Pippin, Mary, and Frodo are at four stars. I did purchase that $20 pack for 600 character shards. That was too good of an offer to pass up. 600 character shards for $20, you gotta be kidding me. Like That's saving me so much time for having to farm these guys considering you need uh, four uh, Road to Rivendell characters at four stars to do the um, Road to Rivendell uh, Adventure Chapter 2. Um, I haven't really invested in them that much. Uh, you need quite a strong team to be able to complete Chapter 2 
and uh, the amount that you have to invest in them versus the amount of rewards you get back isn't just isn't um, insightful enough for me to uh, want to invest in them. I don't really see a large enough return on investment um, from those rewards to want to invest in them. I believe someone did do it, and they had the they had these four characters at like gear tier seven, all of them, I believe, something like that, maybe gear tier six, somewhere along those lines. And I just I don't have the spare resources to to go doing that right now, especially considering the adventure isn't timed. Um, I just feel no rush to go and do that right now. So I'll probably do that later. Uh, once I, maybe once I max, uh, or at least like get to gear tier seven with the Rivendell team, maybe I'll consider going back and doing that. Um, but yeah, for the rest of my ro roster, I haven't really touched anyone, uh, else. Heron deal and Sergeant Ara. Those are the only two Gondor like characters. And personally, I, I don't see them uh, being used right now by a whole lot of people. Uh, they don't really have a, a full enough team, and they're not very strong enough on their own to be used, in my opinion. Uh, Feely, uh, Keely, and Fro, uh, those guys were rated red in my uh, my ultimate free-to-play free uh, guide. Uh, they're just not used enough anywhere uh, yet. Uh, for me to find them worth investing into. Uh, once Thorin's company, hopefully it's coming this year. I really hope it is. Uh, or soon. Uh, Thorin's company is added to the game. I'll definitely be investing in Feely and Keeley as I am a big fan of Thorin's company from The Hobbit. And I would love to see Thorin and those fellow dwarves added to the game um, to use because I, I, I don't know. I just really want to see that added. Once that is added, I'll definitely be leveling up Feely and Keely and using them with Thorin's company. But until that happens, they're just going to chill at the bottom of my roster. Um, so yeah, that's kind of my light side roster. Hopping over to my shadow side. Wherever shadow's at, we have to click off light first. And then scroll down, shadow. Checking out our shadow side. Uh, we'll filter by power for now. Uh, I've been using the Isengard uh, as of recently. I just switched Bulgao for Azak since I got to Azak's uh, campaign node where you can farm him. And after switching him out, Azak is just... Azak's amazing. He's probably one of my favorite shadow characters. Um, I love his kit. Uh, he's got an amazing kit. Call the Weak is probably my favorite ability of his. He attacks the most wounded enemy for a large amount of damage, ignores taunt, and grants might to himself in Mauher. It's just such a fantastic ability. His second one's doing a lot of damage. It's inflicting bleed. His first one deals damage and it inflicts expose. And then Bread for War. It's such a great passive title because his character really is Bread for War. Um, he deals 15% bonus damage against enemies with bleed. On enemy death, he gains one stamina for a random ability. So, And that's only uh, at tier 3. So then what would that be? That would be 20, 30, 40. That would be, if I had it max, it would be deal 40% damage against enemies with bleed. So if I had that max, this guy, he's just, oh, he's a hard hitter. He's really strong. Uh, I'm a big fan of him and he looks awesome. So uh, yeah, that's kind of who who I swapped out recently for uh, Bolg. Bolg, in my honest opinion, he's, uh, he's not bad. He's just... He dwarfs in comparison when compared to the Isengard team. I tried using him with him, but you know, once I switched to Azak, it's just I don't know. He's just he's not as that great. You know, if he had a team like Ugluck does, like Ugluck's got these characters to go with him. If if he had a team like that to to go with him, yeah, he'd be uh, he'd be really good. Um, but uh, personally, right now, I don't feel like Tordok. And Nuraz are strong enough to really to be using Bolg. You know, on his own, sure, he's a good character as a standalone character. But this isn't a standalone character game. So uh, the rest of his team just isn't strong enough for me to really want to use him. He's definitely not like Helgarad, that's for sure. Um, so we kind of ditched him after I got to Azak, and I'm loving Azak. The rest of the Isengard are pretty good. Uh, especially Ugluck and Mauher. Dunhar's probably the weakest of these four, but he is still a pretty good character. Morza is probably my least favorite Isengard character. This guy's just... I don't know. There's, I don't think there's really any, uh, enough special about him for me to really want to use him, especially considering 
were almost forced into using either Gaz Ironhide or Gruha the Brute, considering how strong those two characters are, and you're kind of forced almost to use one of those two in Arena. And uh, my option to use was Gaz, considering Gruha and Gaz are approximately the same thing with a few differences. Uh, Gruhar though is uh, a heavy pay to win character uh, being only available in the store at like 150 gems for five shards and he's a 45 shard unlock versus super easy to get Gaz Ironhard to seven stars because he is in the guild campaign so it's just a no-brainer to me to use Gaz over Gruhar just on their based on the current farm ability. Uh, through the rest of my roster, I use Neuras for a point in time. He has an amazing summon, but if he didn't have that summon, oh, he, he's a horrible character. The reason I don't like Neuras is because Neuras is so squishy, he just dies so fast. Like, it, I, I don't I don't know. I've, I've lost, uh, when I was using him, I was uh, getting a lot of two stars on my shadow campaign missions. Uh, because he was dying so fast and I was finishing the missions with everyone else alive but Neuraz was dead just because he was so squishy and uh, you know that had to go can't have any uh, weak links on my team so Neuraz had to get the boot um, I guess he he really just needs some good uh, some good tanks that have a lot of taunts and provokes to kind of keep Neuraz safe and right now there's not really that for him um, I haven't really invested in anyone else uh, in the Shadow team. I do have the uh, Haradrim favorited, so Wubet, who I've been farming uh, in the guild store, and uh, Yeftu, I didn't mean to click on him, and Yeftu, we've been farming as well when I do have that, just keep clicking on people. <laughs> uh, Yeftu, where, wherever he went, I think he's at the top now. Yeah, Yeftu, when we have the spare energy, I have been farming him, but my energy has been prioritized currently for those elves and for those uh, light crystal shards. Um, so when I do have the spare energy, I do farm Yef2, but right now I don't have a lot of it, so he's kind of been on the back burner. But still up there on the favorite because I do need to farm him, assuming that the Witch King data mines are correct and that Haradrim is the uh, characters that are going to be required for him. Uh, we still haven't gotten to the Robel uh, unlock yet, so I need to progress my shadow team. Um, after L rounds in the game, I'll, I'll do that and I'll get to Robel and then I'll really have to start farming her to catch back up, uh, with it. I haven't really checked out anyone else in the, uh, in the shadow side team. Although I am quite curious about the Dun the Dunlin team with the Chieftain, Wex, and Edric. I am using Edric on my free to play account right now while I'm waiting for more shadow care for more shadow characters to be unlocked. And I'm having a lot of fun with him. Edric's a pretty strong character, and I'd, I'd really be curious into seeing a fully developed uh, Dunlin team, especially with two additional characters, uh, if if and when they get added to the game to go with these three. I feel like Dunlin is, has some good potential to be a very strong team in the game uh, once it's a complete team. So I, I'm, I'm excited for that when that does come to the game. Uh, I think Dunlin's got a... a some good uh some good potential for the game so i'm excited to see that when they add it and yeah that's pretty much uh my roster we'll check out my stats real quick right here so my total collection power is forty-two thousand uh collection power my strongest squad power currently is fifteen thousand three hundred and twelve i've won 55 arena battles and i have 43 characters collected um my current arena rating is silver one um my all time was gold one uh, like I had said in my farming guides for the Elrond event, um, I was, uh, I'm was i aware that I was going to fall out of gold when I switched my priority from focusing on gearing up my arena team to preparing for Elrond. I did fall out of gold and now I'm down into silver. So once I do get that, uh, that Rivendell team, that complete five Rivendell team unlocked, I do expect to um, climb back up in arena, get to gold. Maybe I'll even get to mithril. Not sure though, we'll see how that goes. Um, but once that Rivendell team's in the game, my arena uh, rating will definitely start to go up because uh, I'll be able to focus on an arena team again. But until that happens, uh, we're gonna be just chilling in silver for the time being. Not too worried about it, not really sacrificing too much by hanging out down there. And uh, we'll take a quick look at the guild. So I'm in the White Council, and our guild is 1.2 million power, and our average collection power is 33,579. 
Not sure how that compares to other guilds in the game, but I think it's pretty good. 1.2 million seems like a really good guild power. Um, but yeah, so that's my roster. Uh, let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Let me know how your guys' rosters are looking. And make sure to drop a like, comment, comment especially. I love interacting with you guys. So just let me know down in the comments, you know, what you think about the video, how your rosters are doing, just anything, man. <laughs> and uh, yeah, appreciate all the new subscribers and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.